Um, so now I want to go over a little bit harder reducing fraction example. Here we have 36 over 48. And the first thing I want to do is I want to find the greatest common factor between 36 and 48. Or in other words, I want to find the biggest number that can be divided evenly with both the numerator and the denominator. So in our numerator, we have a 36. And in the denominator, we have a 48. So the biggest number that can be divided evenly with these two numbers is a 12, because 36 divided by 12 is 3, and 48 divided by 12 is 4. So I'm going to divide the top and bottom by the greatest common factor, which is 12. So first, I'm going to divide the top by 12. And whatever you do to the top of a fraction, you have to do to the bottom of a fraction. So now I'm going to divide the denominator by 12. And now this can be reduced quite easily. In the numerator, we have 36 divided by 12, which is just 3. And in the denominator, we have 48 divided by 12, which is just 4. So now I want to show you what you could have done if you didn't know that the greatest common factor was 12. So here again, we have 36 over 48. And once again, you can't figure out to divide both the numerator and denominator by 12. But you do know that 36 and 48 can be divided by 2 evenly. Uh, since they're both even numbers. So I'm going to divide both numbers by 2. I'm going to divide 36 by 2. And whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. And I'll divide 48 by 2. So in the numerator, we have 36 divided by 2, which is just 18. And in the denominator, we have 48 divided by 2, which is 24. So now notice that we still have two even numbers. We have an 18 and we have a 24. So since we have two even numbers, uh, they definitely can be divided by 2 evenly. So once again, I'm going to divide by 2. And whatever you do to the numerator, you have to do to the denominator. And this can be simplified. The numerator, we have 18 divided by 2, which is just 9. And in the denominator, we have 24 divided by 2, which is just 12. So now notice how we have a 9 in our numerator, and we have a 12 in our denominator. And this fraction has another common factor. They both can be divided by 3 evenly. So this fraction, 9 over 12, has a common factor of 3. So I'm going to divide the numerator by 3. And whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. So I'll divide the denominator by 3 as well. And this can be simplified. I'll continue at the bottom. In the numerator, we have 9 divided by 3, which is just 3. And in the denominator, we have 12 divided by 3, which is just 4. Um, so now we just did a little bit more work, but we arrived at the same exact answer as the first time we did the problem. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.